G'day guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run. Happy New Year to you. Hope you have a prosperous 2019. Hopefully a lot more videos to come. I'm running out of things to do on the Africa Twin. Um, I think I've done all the upgrades that I need to. I'm looking at some soft panniers as well, doing a bit more off-roading with the soft panniers. If you watch the other videos where I dropped it a few times with the hard panniers, I did have to straighten my frame. I cracked a little bit of plastic, but that's something down the line. All right, so what we're going to talk about is suspension on the back part of your rack carrying your boxes. And this is what I'm going to do. All right, guys, so this is what I'm talking about. This is your, your back rack. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same on all bikes, but the Africa Twin, this is aluminium. And there's been a couple of cases where it's been snapping with the weight. And as you see there, look, it does tell you 10 kgs on the back of there. And obviously by the time you've got your plate on and your box on, it, uh, it, it mounts up a little bit. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to create these braces, struts, brackets, dampers, whatever you want to call them. Um, some guys I've seen, and I think Givy actually supply some extra brackets now with, a, with their plate that gives you a bit of support. But my concern is if you're solid from here to here, then that puts a weakness in the middle. Um, so obviously they're designed to give a little bit, but um, yeah, so we're gonna use dampers. So even though it's 10 kgs with your box and whatever, I think your box is allowed to carry 15 and the box alone, um, I think is about six or seven. We'll get the scales out and we'll weigh that. Well, that, that's my give you trekker box is six or seven. So you haven't got a lot left to put inside there. Let's weigh the box. So there we go guys, mine's a big, I think it's a 56 litre. Um, it's the Gibby Trekker. I've got my um, fishing scales here, so we're gonna do a test on that, turn them on. Tear. Eight. So there's not a lot left, so you've got 3.2 kilos that you can put in it, which is a bit crazy, a bit ridiculous. Alright guys, you can buy plates, there's a lot of companies out there, um, give you make one. Um, obviously, obviously everything relates to what boxes you've got, but this is one that I've actually made. It's a piece of steel, as you can see, I've put my nuts in there, still a bit, I just touched it up with a bit of paint because it was all scratched and whatever. But you've got your nuts in there that will catch the box and then the bracket that catches the back on. But that's already about 100 mil, probably a bit more over the length of that already. And then the box goes on there a little bit further. So you are sort of taking it past the angle um, that it's not meant to be. And as I say, that's, I reckon, with just the box alone. Um, you're probably at your regulations. So my plans are these. These are gas struts. A um, couple of U-bolts. The uh, the ball connections that go in the end of the gas struts, and I've just cut some three mil aluminium into a couple of brackets, and I'm going to round over and drill out to take the U-bolts. Accept this, so that we can uh, strap them to the frame. And then, uh, yeah, these are 100 Newton. There's different types. You can get some smaller ones, a bit of chrome. I just went with the black ones. 100 new how the Newtons work out is if you, you see there, look, it's either 100 N, which stands for Newton, or NM, which would be Newton meters. So how that works is for each kilogram, you get a, a 10 Newton. So if something's like um, 10 kilograms, then you need 100 Newton. So that downward pressure, um, it's not going to be absolutely solid. As I say, I think it's a bad design where guys are installing solid bars. I think you're creating a problem in the middle because um, they are meant to give. But this is going to help it give and it's going to damp it. And it's still going to bend and flex, but with a little bit of help. So it's going to drill out the four brackets. The U-bolt is a 6 mil. So I've got a 7.5 in there.
There you go guys, you can see I've drilled them out. Let's take the U-bolt. And um, then we're going to work on this one to take the stud. Alright guys, so I've drilled them out. Done the one that side for the stud. Those two that side for the U-bolt. And we're just going to round off the corners, make it a little bit tidier and neater and not so blooming deadly. Alright. Get on with this and I'll come back to you. It's going to give them a bit of a file up and a clean up um, just to get the burrs off. Um, holding them with the mole grips or clamp pliers, whatever you want to call them. Put a couple of little, because I had to hold it really tight because obviously bloody aluminium gets really hot when you're, you're grinding it. Um, and obviously didn't want it to come out of my hand, so I'll put a couple of indentations into it, but that's, that's no big deal. So just cleaning the edges up just to get it nice and round it there we go so I'm just going to bolt this back onto here now um, just so we can work I need to get these struts going where we need them you don't need to see that I'll come back to you alright guys so I've just mounted the box on to give you some idea of what I'm talking about movement this box is empty now as I say the aluminium plate finishes there and we're probably oh, 250 300 mil hanging over so if you see that look obviously that's just me pushing it down a little bit there's a little bit of movement in my plate there's a little bit of movement in there but yeah and that's empty so if you've got another we do overload them so that's seven that's probably a kilo so that's eight so we're talking two kilos in the box which we're never going to do um, so otherwise we wouldn't be buying these bloody big things um, unless you're going to put your slippers in there that's about it but yeah so when you're going over a bit of rough terrain um, this is bouncing around like bloody holy hell and as I say these have been snapping um, so this is my theory and we'll get on with it okay guys these struts I bought I forgot to tell you are 300 mil you can get them in all different lengths um, I've decided to go with mine here just behind my light so you, they're not on view from there drop that one down a bit so the bracket I'm going to put there I'll paint it all up but this now look will come somewhere here I can drill the hole to put this stud in which will take that side of the same as that one down there look so what we want is this just slightly under a little bit of pressure nothing major don't go over the top I'm thinking if you was to you know 300 didn't fit your bike perhaps you could you know tilt the bracket round that way to gain um, tilt it down or go around to the side or to the back of it or but you, you've got a little bit of play and movement depending on what you want to do but um, yeah, I'm going to go slightly about there and just put it just under a tiny little bit of pressure, nothing major. Alright guys, I've marked where I want to drill my hole for my stud. As you can see, it's just, as you can see from there, I'm just about 8, eight mil above it. So that, that will put a little bit of pressure onto that strut when I bolt it through. We don't want loads, just that tiny bit as I say, just to take that first bit of, see if I can push it down, there you go, look, just that little bit there. Alright guys, so I've got my brackets on, I've just put a bit of paint on them, tightened them all up, positioned them where I need them. Uh, I'm going to install this strut so you can see what, um, what I'm doing. So then we're going through there, I'm going to put a little bit of... Um, lock seal onto the nut just to give it, it has got a gripping nut on it but just to be on the safe side these um, ball ends 
or ball joints as they're called. They've got like a, let me show you one. They've got like a lock there look, so you can hold on to it, so you can tighten your nut up on that thread. These just pop in and out, you pull that little bar there, and they come out, but they, they give you a little bit of a play. Also, if you can see, they don't need to be in line either, you can twist them around. So everything will work for you, so if you need to be there, and the top needs to be here, it's perfect, perfect, so you get the angles as well, so you've got the ball joint that will move one way or the other. Alright, cut in with this install. So I'm just going to hold that. Just give that a bit of a nip up. That's it. And as I said with this top one, you see what I mean about the movement? Play. It's perfect. Rather than a solid rigid bar. As you can see, look. It won't go in the hole, so you do need to decompress slightly. Yeah, let me just show you the, the compression on that. Look, push down. See, so you still got movement, but it helps dampen it. There you go, simple as that. That's the one side done. As you can see, there's a little bit of movement, adjustment. So you've got plenty of room to play with it to get it to the angles that you require. I'm going to do the other side and then show you how it works. Okay, guys, there we go. So just a double strut. Don't forget, I mean, this is just a horizontal brace between that bar and that bar, but it is quite solid, locked in, rigid. Um, it's not going to give you another 30, 40 kilos on the top of there. Don't take it for granted. It's just going to help taking the bounce out of it, giving you probably an extra three, five, maybe seven kilos. Because as I said, with this, your box, depending on what box you've got, obviously, your box, you're already at eight kilos and that aluminium frame can only take 10. So theoretically you can only put two in the box, but I reckon you could now upgrade that to nine, even 10, um, just to give you that extra support. As I say, this is not a structural bar. It's just a horizontal brace between there, but it is pretty solid. Let's get the box on and try it. All right guys, box is on. Put it on the tyre. As you can see, it is moving, and that's working on the damper as we want. It is putting a little bit of pressure on this bar also, but the damper's working, and that's just taking that little bit of bounce and whip. As I say, give it a bit more weight. There we go. There we go guys, dead simple, dead easy. Um, as you can see, I've just turned up at the desert behind me, um, where I've got this, and I've got this, and we're gonna try out these suspension, see how good they actually really are. Let's go.